Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, Red Odoo had a uh, summer sale and I had made an offer on a different brand for four batteries and of course they counter offered with like I don't know ten dollars off of four of them or something I said the heck with that <laughs> I know all my other batteries are these on my system for the house so I decided to just go with these keep them all the same so I got four more and That'll make me 16 altogether, so I'll have uh, 400 amper hours at 48 volts. <clears throat> and uh, of course, I charged each one up. They all were about halfway. They all took like 49 or 51, 52 amper hours to fill up. Um, <clears throat> and I tested each one of them uh, on this little 12 volt system here. I used that inverter um, to as a load and they all come out 102 amper hours or a little better before the inverter started uh, beeping so they all tested out good so I'm going to put them in uh, I got one space left in my battery box so I'll be putting them in and I'll show you that it's going to be a day or so because Got to get them all charged back up and then uh, hook them all in parallel. Let them equalize for maybe a day or two. Um, and then we'll put them in. Got all the batteries recharged using the uh, LiPo 4 charger. And then I paralleled them all and put my bench supply and set it for 14.4. Left it overnight. First, it was down to zero amps going in. So, first thing in the morning, I disconnected them all, and they've been setting ever since. So, it's been about uh, five hours they've been setting. So, let's see what the individual voltages are. Hopefully, you guys can see that. But that's 1392, 1392, 1391, 1391. I'm happy with that. So next, oops, wrong way as usual. We're going to. I'm going to pull out. We'll pull out this battery box, and those batteries are going to go in the top shelf in here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect it. You can see the one set that's in there is at 100 percent. I'll disconnect these, so we're working with nothing hooked into the system and <laughs> I just happened to notice I've got a pair of boots sitting here I'll just drop each one of them cables in the individual boot and that way we'll be safe so let me go get the wrench and we'll get started I don't know we got some wind today I don't know if you can hear the windmills whizzing in the background and the military's having maneuvers so you can hear uh, their planes up above the clouds there roaring so I took a, a cheap Chinese wrench and I cut the open end off and I put uh, heat shrink on it. Thought it might be a little safer, so I won't show anything out. So disconnect that. There's still voltage on these, so they're still going to show, but there is nothing coming out that's coming from here.
there, right in the boat. That's the three out cable I got on here. Welding cable. See, it's got nice beefy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really heavy. Okay, so now. Get you a little closer so you can see a little better what we got going on in there. Okay, there's four of the Red Odo batteries down there. Uh, if I decide to put a balancer on these, that's what all of these are for. cables that are going to go from the shunt and the negative connection which are the same length as the same size and length as the set below. So what I need to do is set these batteries in there. there. So now I will uh, measure. I'm going to use bus bars. So I'll need uh, one to go across there, one there, and one there. Make my connections here. So I got to get that measured out and get those made and we'll be back. The well, bus bars are all finished and installed. Cables are all installed. Like I say, they're the same length as the one that's on the bottom, so everything should be equal. Um, I put these caps on. This isn't going to do much good with all these big bus bars exposed, but at least I know where they're at. So we should be able to turn it on. We'll see what it does before we hook it back up. Um, let me move you guys down. Yeah, there we go. And I'll move you in closer. Like I say, the voltage points for these are common, so either one I turn on is going to light it up but the current flow will be individualized. Um, so we'll turn the new one on first. Okay. And then, let's see. Our volume is 55.3. And I go over here to the percentage. And it's already set at 100. 
so I'm going to go to amper hours. And I'm going to turn this one on, and I'm assuming that this one, the top set, is going to be a little bit higher voltage than the lower set because I don't charge my batteries all the way. I think I got a set to 55.2, so the resting voltage is probably not going to be as high. So there's probably going to be some current transfer from this one to this one until they equalize. So, uh, let's see. Yep. And 10 amps going from this one down to this one. You can see it's getting smaller already, so yeah, it's barely, barely equal. Say this one stays steady lit because it's discharging and this one is pulsing meaning it's charging. I'm down to 2.3 so it's not going to take a long. this out I double checked all of my connections to make sure everything was good even on the old stuff and I didn't find anything out of order Okay, we're down to less than half an amp, so I'll shut you guys off and I'll put the lid and everything back on it, roll it back in place, and we'll see how it is just before I hook the cables back up. Okay, it's maybe been five minutes. We're down to what? 0 0.078 being transferred, and there's no more pulse and they're lit up, meaning that there's hardly any energy transfer going on. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the cables back up and then we'll turn around. Okay, the cables are hooked. Let's turn them on one at a time. And we'll put the new one on first, see what, what happens. Stabilizing at 55.18 up here, 55.26. Let's see what this one is. 55.12. So oh, everything's really close. There's a little bit coming from this one apparently because this is a minus. Because we're making enough with this that we don't need any solar or battery charges done. So we 
got three quarters of an amp coming out of there. 0.1 coming out of there. coming into here. So this one's down to the point where there's nothing coming or going to speak of. And this one's almost there. Alright, looks to me like everything is going to be happy. So now I have Yeah, always the wrong way. Never fails. So now I have... I just move you back some. So now I got 16 of the Red Odo 100 amp per hour. Just the plain Jane original ones in my system. So I got 400 amp per hours available. And I have to say, the oldest ones are around two years old. The ones in this battery box, I think, are all from this year. And I have never had any of them shut down for any reason. I've never run them low enough that they shut themselves off, and I've never overcharged them enough so they shut off other than when I was testing them, but under actual use, none of them have ever bothered any. And they've always stayed balanced good. I mean, like, one battery has never gotten so far out of whack that it would shut the, the group down. So I'm really happy with everything, but I've kept everything consistent and made sure everything is adequate. So I think unless you you skimp on things these things seem to work well and I'd recommend the the Red Odoo they're not the cheapest and they're not the most expensive as a matter of fact they're quite reasonable so you know if you're looking to build a system consider them so I think that'll do it for this video and uh, Thanks for watching, you know, and if you kind of enjoyed it, give me the thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.